Thanksgiving will mark 51 years since the only unsolved hijacking in U.S. history. And then today, an amateur D.B. Cooper investigator revealing new leads in this huge case. Let's get to our Dan Tilkin. And Dan, so let's talk about how this is all based on microscopic particles. He says that science has connected the dots between the hijacker who went to Portland mm. International Airport and hijacked a plane and a previously unknown suspect, a metal scientist in Pennsylvania. So in downtown Vancouver so, this morning, so Eric Eulis shared a picture of the man he now thinks was D.B. Cooper. Vince Peterson died in 2002. That picture right there was years after the hijack. He would have been a lot younger. Eulis says he traced a rare form of titanium found on the black tie that D.B. Cooper left on the 727 to a laboratory where Peterson worked with a small number of engineers near Pittsburgh. I did talk with his son and said, hey, did he ever jump out of an airplane before that you're aware of? And he said he's unaware of his father ever, ever having jumped out of an airplane before. It's also important, I think, to mention that I asked his son, I said, do you think it's at all possible that your father could have been D.B. Cooper based upon you know, what I'm bringing here? And he said he just can't see it. Eula says the current owner of Peterson's house is allowing him to search the property for Maybe the ransom money, which has never been found, the parachute, which has never been found, uh, the briefcase, or the shoes, the clothing, any other clues about D.B. Cooper. He is also asking for people who remember Peterson to come forward and contact him to help fill in the blanks. And he does not have a picture of, of Peterson when he was 52 years old at the time of the hijacking. He only has a picture of him from the 70s. So trying to unravel all of this. You know, we've been down this road before with yes. people who think they solved it, and we were all talking. The problem is every middle-aged man at that time looked like that drawing. They all of wore that Cooper. suit. They all yeah. had the short hair pasted to the head. So every time people see someone thinking, look at it, oh, it does look like D.B. Cooper. Right. It, everyone looked like D.B. Cooper. And, and this case is fascinating because not only is this rare titanium on the, on the tie, the there's tie. other metals too that likely came from there. So this is fascinating. And, and I like that he's honest about it. He says, I've yeah. asked his son, and he goes, his son doesn't think so. I mean, he's being honest about it. Yes. So this, he might be onto something here. Maybe onto something. He needs more clues. It's still a fascinating it mystery is. all these years later. I love Dan, it. Thank love you. It. Thanks, Dan.